Growing up in Senegal, basketball was not the main sport. Everybody was playing soccer. Started playing basketball when I was 13. There was actually a church that had a basketball court. That's where I started actually playing basketball because my friend told me this, to just go try it. Never turned around since then. Bai had participated actually in three camps. He was so talented at such a young age. We brought him to the first camp when he was age 15. Uh, for the BWB 2008, it was just for me, you know, at that point, the expectation was like, now that I have like a chip on my shoulder, everybody know, oh, this was the guy that went to BWP for the international game. So everybody like know, oh, this is the guy. So I feel like, okay, I have something to prove. And then I remember Kim wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, I was like, oh, like, you know, you always like get nervous when you have to talk to kind of someone that's senior. We all fell in love with Bai just because not only his talent, uh, great rebounder, instinctive shot blocker, but just always this big smile on his face. And then we said, well, the problem is all the prep schools have already started. So if we are able to find an opportunity for you, which we did at Oak Hill Academy, you would have to go right from camp to the United States. I was like deer in headlights. I'm like, what's going on? Because everything was going so fast. Moment of excitement at the same time, I was super nervous. I'm like, oh, I'm going to the US. One of my favorite memories was Jim Beheim called me and he said, in all my years of coaching, I've never named an award after a player. And I'm going to name one after by. And the award is about character. And it's the by. Keita Award that's given out annually, and I just, just a tremendous story, and I just can't, can't be prouder of him. After Syracuse, uh, I decided to go play professionally in Europe. Uh, my first year I was in Denmark. Uh, it was a great season. We won both the cup and the championship, and I won Defensive Player of the Year. In December, I decided to leave and go back in Denmark. And when I was in Denmark, I had a problem with my shoulder. I dislocated it. So after my end of my second season, I decided to come back to the U.S. and had surgery and just took the year off just to rehab. While I was doing that, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to look, you know, look for a job. I was still in contact with Kim Brooks and all those guys. And then Troy reached out to me and said, there's a position up and up with the junior NBA and would you be interested? So, you know, I applied for that. And now I'm there. I've been there for three years now. We had him doing the initial season for the Basketball Africa League as a team liaison and did incredible work, you know, just continuing to help grow the game, uh, giving back. And these are these examples are there to continue to really show, you know, why this camp is bigger than basketball. Now that I'm part of like the making people's dream happen, I'm so excited about it. Like it's just so great to be part of it.